Last year my interest in gardening was piqued when I found a pot of mums, yellow mums. They were full bloom when I got the ones last year uh, at my local Walmart store. And you see these are about five bucks. It's a beautiful pot. And I planted it out in my garden next to some tomatoes that I grew last year. Then my daughter gave me these rocks out of her garden around a tree that she no longer wanted. And I made a bed against my back fence and I transplanted the mums into the bed here, there, and yonder. And my goal is to ultimately have them the full length of the bed. So I bought another one to go in there that I will cut apart and feed along the edge there. Well, I'm getting ready to break this chrysanthemum down to plant it in the edging of the bed. Chrysanthemums are perennials. I found they're supposed to flower in the fall, but some of mine flowered in the springtime and the other half are flowering now. Um, no rhyme or reason to it. Um, I like this as my seed tray and as uh, my cuttings to root my cuttings in. I got it from Dollar General store for a few bucks at the end of summer when they had their gardening stuff on clearance and the dirt that's in it is probably half uh, dirt that I purchased at Dollar General store and the other half is what some of my flower bulbs and rhizomes came in and I just mix it up and I use it as a seed starting soil and in this container, I have the things that I'm going to need to take rootings, take cuttings and root them rather. And I know that some of you are going to be very upset when you watch me take cuttings from this big beautiful thing that it should be planted out just the way it is. But I really don't like it in this shape, this little snowball shape. It's not natural and I want it as a garden plant, not as a centerpiece. So I will be taking cuttings from this. And yes, even though there are flowers on it, I can take cuttings from it and they will root just fine. So I'm going to break this plant down starting now. The first thing I like to do is to take it out of its pot and then take a look at the plant itself. You can see that it is not a bunch of smaller plants, but rather a couple of large ones that are centered in the middle. And it is pretty root bound here. So it works better for me to take cuttings from this than to try to break the clump apart because it is pretty much a central clump with a lot of branches coming off. So I will be removing some of these branches here from the bottom going upward. As I start trimming some of them, taking them back, you can see that there's a lot of dead down there inside. So this is why I say this is really not the natural shape of this plant. And I want something that's more natural. Can you see in there? There's the main stem, and all of this is coming off. So, I'm going to be doing some more cutting back. This is a good area for disease and pests to harbor themselves. So, we're going to give it a good clipping, like a sheep shearing. This is what it looks like as I cut further in. I mean, it looks beautiful out here, but inside, this is not really healthy. 
I wound up with two C trays of cuttings. I may or may not take the blooms off depending on how well they root. The ones that I did out there, I had left the blooms on and they did just fine. Chrysanthemums seem to be easy to root. So we shall see. And this is the mother plant. I still need to remove her dead stuff inside, dead leaves. I have her soaking in some water because I'm going to plant her in the ground today. And I still need to do something with those two. I'm going to check and see if the chrysanthemums have put down some roots and if they're ready to go into the bed. Well, they have put out some roots. As you can see, all of that white. But I'm thinking I'm going to let them go a little while longer. I might just go ahead and wait until my granddaughter comes when we remove the other stuff and put them in. Can you see the white roots? So yeah, I think I'm just going to wait a little while longer. I actually thought that my energy level was up enough to go ahead and try to plant these, but I think I'm going to just wait a little while longer. I don't know what the bug was that I've come down with, but I'm still fighting it. So we're going to wait a little while longer. I am off to my daughter's house, but I wanted to share with you the chrysanthemum cuttings that are in the long seed trays, or what I refer to as seed trays, here under my star on my front porch. They are doing very well. I am sure that they are taking root. And when my granddaughter comes in October, they'll be ready to plant out.